Hey YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Gerard Green. Um, it's been a while since I made videos, and uh, I don't know. My computer, my laptop is broke, so I'm recording this straight from my iPad. So I hope that you can hear me. Is it working? Okay. Man, there's been a lot going on. Um, a whole lot. I don't even know where to start. I should, probably should make multiple videos, but. I don't know, I had you guys on my mind, so I thought I'd post a video. I really hope you can hear me. Um, let me see. I don't know where to start. Um, it's been a crazy few months. In the course of two, three months, I uh, my band has started recording uh, another album, our second album. It's really, really coming along quite nicely. And uh, I'm excited for you guys to uh, hear it. I I'm recording outside, so at my mom's place, so people might walk past. Whatever. Um, I've been to sorry. I've been to uh, went to the Miss Carter show in Charlotte with one of my really good friends, and. I had the time of my life. I, I really, <laughs> I don't really want to skip over that fact that um, I went to Beyonce's show. Like that was, that was really cool. I mean, as an as an entertainer, seeing um, seeing one of my favorite entertainers perform was was amazing. Um, such a dynamic performer, great dancer. Amazing singer, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful woman. Uh, that was cool. And maybe I'll make a video talking about that, I don't know. But what I really, really want to talk about is um, a friend of mine. Um, about a week ago, a friend of mine, uh, she passed away. She had cancer. We met in college, and uh, she was just one of those women, one of those those people, one of those spirits that I just uh, just connected with. We got each other. Um, she's a very creative soul, a very beautiful person, and her death has changed my life. She changed my life just in being who she was. Her life changed my life. But her death has changed my life forever. And um, it made me look at things a lot differently. Um, I'm not perfect. I, I make mistakes. I get mad. I get angry. I get frustrated at things. I have a short temper, uh, a quick temper, a short fuse sometimes. And uh, she just lived a full life. She always put other people first before her. She always knew just what to say. She knew how to make you laugh. She had a beautiful smile. Her name is Cameron Turner. And some of the things that I learned, one of the things that I learned is not to take people for granted, not to take people's lives for granted because you just never know when they're gonna when they're gonna go away. Um, in her 27 years, she found the love of her life, a wonderful husband. She had a beautiful daughter, Orion, and she lived. She lived, she impacted so many people, young women, through her, um, a group she started called Rock Stars, where she empowered young women to, uh, and uh, encouraged them to find their self-worth and to, to uh, know their value. And in her time at Texas A&M with me, she just touched so many people. 
just by her positive attitude. She she didn't deal in drama, and she just uh, this smile, man. She just had this smile that just <laughs> you you couldn't help but smile back at her. And um, I had a show last night in Houston. And the last time I was on that stage, she was in the audience. And she was making fun of me because I hadn't retwisted my hair or shaved. And she <laughs> she said I looked scruffy. Um, but just knowing that she wasn't going to be in the audience, it was, it was a little hard. But it also encouraged me to put on the best show possible because that's the way she would have wanted it. Her homegoing service was yesterday, and it was it was beautiful to hear all the people talk about how much of an impact she made on their lives. And you know, at, at funerals, people we just say nice things just because it's nice to say nice things. But to go to a funeral and to know that everything that everyone was saying about her was the truth, man, it. It challenged me. It, what, what is my legacy going to be when I leave this earth? She left such a, a, an impression on people, like such an amazing legacy at 27 years old, the things that she accomplished, the lives that she touched. And I thought to myself, what will my legacy be? Like what, when I leave, what will people say at my funeral? You know, not saying that I want to be great and grand, but am I doing enough on this earth while I'm living to um, to change the world? Cameron changed the world through her blogs. Um, now, her bout with cancer, always with class, man always with class, always with a smile. Now, she showed us that through her struggles, she can put on a pair of stilettos. She can rock a, a cool hairstyle, you know, a blonde hairstyle. She can rock makeup. She never let on that she was suffering. Sorry. Even though she was in pain, she never, ever told you. You never knew unless she told you. And it just makes me think of, about some of the things that I go through in life and some of the struggles that I have, you know, as an entertainer, you know, or with, or with different individuals and um, how I can go through things with class, man. And honestly, She's, she's the first friend of mine to ever leave this earth. And I'm, I mean, it's, it's rocked my world, man. But I find peace in knowing that she's with God and knowing that she's not hurting anymore. And, um, in your life, you just have to treat people right. You gotta be nice to people. You gotta be kind. And I know it's 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 hard sometimes when people mistreat you, and people don't. They seem not. They seem to not respect you. But you gotta be good to them. And that's 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 sometimes it's tough. It's tough. We're human, and and our feelings get hurt. But um. I just think about her life and think about her smile and how she fought, she fought courageously and she was the definition of a, a warrior, a champion, and a good human being who cared about everyone and like I've never met anyone like Cameron.
I've never met anyone like her, man. Just to know that she's not here, it, it hurts. But to know that she's with God, it's just incredible. You know, I've had people pass away in my family and, you know, it's been sad. But it's just to, to witness, to, to witness a, a human being live her life and, and, and she, man, she lived. <laughs> she lived. I, I know that her husband and her daughter have, and her family members have great memories of her. And um, I'm just grateful. I'm just very, very thankful for um, the, the life that she lived and, and how good of a person that she that she was. And she's in my heart. And so I just want to encourage you all, you know, to just keep fighting. If there's anyone in your family that has passed away or that is fighting um, uh, cancer or any any disease, just love on them. Love on them while they're here. Let them know that you love them. If there's anyone in your anyone in your life that you that you love, and, and it, sometimes it's just hard to love them. Love them anyway. It just try your hardest. Try because our time here on earth is <laughs> is so precious, and it's just like that. You don't have to be a superstar. You don't have to be this, this colossal, um, world-renowned this or that. Just be the best you that you can be and love as hard as you can, even when it's hard. I'm telling myself that right now. Love hard even when it's hard. People are going to talk about you. People are going to judge you. But you just got to plant your feet, square your shoulders, and, and know that what, what, what people say about you does not define who you are. Cameron was not defined by, by her cancer. She was not defined by any of those things. She, she was defined by the um, incredible things that she's accomplished in this life. And I don't even think Cameron knew how amazing that, no, she knew she was amazing. <laughs> she knew she was amazing, but she could never know how much she's impacted, not just my life, but the life of her friends and family and people who didn't even know her but read her blog. And so I'm just grateful, I'm thankful, I'm a little sad, but I can make it. You know, because of my friend. And so I, I'm going to try to make some more videos. I, I love y'all. Just, just know that, you know, this life is, is very precious. And I don't know you. I don't know who you are. I may not know you. Some of you I know. But if I don't know you, I just want to encourage you to stay strong, be strong. And I know these YouTube videos or whatever, you, you know, take it how you want it. But, like, um, I'm encouraged by uh, videos that I, I mean, messages that I get from people telling me that I brighten their, their day. Believe me, those messages brighten my day. It's give and take, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, it just feels good to get responses from positive people, you know? Um, so, um, I love y'all. And making these videos, they bring me joy, and, and you watch them, I hope they bring you joy, and uh, I'm just very grateful for this, this life, no matter, through the ups and downs, I'm grateful, so, I just, let y'all know I love y'all, and more videos should be coming soon, hopefully I get my computer fixed, and uh, yeah, so anyway, just, <sighs> <laughs> love y'all so much, peace!